creek Let's go down in the water Cool up this hot week Let's go down to the river Let's go to the lake Hi guys, Alyssa from Adventures in Wonderland blog here. Today's video I'm going to show you one method of dehydrating dandelions. As you see, I've got them sitting in some water right now. Um, so the first thing you want to do, of course, is dig them up. Um, and I've noticed the, the smaller plants seem to have the bigger roots on them and the bigger roots is what we want. We don't want, we don't really want these little stringy ones here. We want the big roots. So the smaller plants seem to have those on them versus the big plants. Um, so when you dig them up, I highly recommend you let them sit for a day, possibly two days, before you do anything with them to allow time for the little critters to get out of them because worms and millworms, uh, grub worms, the little the little tiny slugs and what we call the roly polies get in the roots and at the base of the leaves. So you want to give them time to escape. <laughs> um, I still had some see there's a slug there and a little roly poly there, some more slugs they didn't evacuate <laughs> before I put my dandelions in the water. So after they've set for a day or two, I've just got them in a pot right now, but you can put them in your sink, fill it up with water. Um, you can even hose them off outside if you want. Fill up your pot of water and let the dirt that's on the roots get good and soaked so that it comes off very easy and I will dump this water and do another round and probably use my sprayer that's on the faucet here to finish getting all that off but I'm gonna let these soak while we run to town to get animal feed and then I will show you what they look like all cleaned up and then we'll put them in the dehydrator. Okay guys, I am back and I have everything washed really good. These are the leaves, flowers, and these are the roots. And guess what? I found Groot! And I found another one, similar. He's just missing his other one. Yeah, I found Groot. He's alive. Okay, so what I'm going to do is these really bigger ones that I have here, I'm going to cut them in half and um, lengthwise, and then I'll probably cut them in half again down the middle so that they'll just dry a little more even and faster. Now because we have different sizes here, like we have some smaller ones, thinner ones. Um, these we're just gonna have to watch. There's another one. We're just gonna have to watch these just to make sure that they don't burn and go too far because they're definitely gonna be done before our bigger pieces will. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Um, the leaves, they won't take as long either. And they'll be done when you can put them between both of your hands and crumble them. That's when you know they're done. And then you can pull them out and put them in your jar. Label your jar with what the item is and um, the date you did them, if they were wildcrafted, um, and so on. The flowers will dry the fastest. They don't take long at all. Um, you'll know they're done when they feel kind of crunchy. Um, of course they'll close up too, so, and then you just do the same thing. 
You pull them out and you put them in your jars and label them. The roots, they're, they wouldn't, they're going to be a little more, they'll be a lot harder than they are now. They're pretty flexible. You can see that? They'll get good and hard. Um, and you should be able to grade them really easy um, for whatever you're going to use them for. Now these greens, you can, the whole plant is actually edible. But the greens, you can get them and put them in a salad. Um, if you're going to do a salad, I recommend you picking the small leaves because they're going to be a little more tender. Um, and make sure you do not pick dandelions from the side of the road or any place that has uh, sprays with pesticides or herbicides, fertilizers. You want them as organic and clean as you can get them. You really don't want to put that stuff in your body. There's just no point in getting the dandelions if you're just going to include all that in it too. Um, I am dehydrating this stuff for medicinal purposes. Um, all of it has medicinal purpose. Um, it would be mainly used for detox, liver detox, um, allergies, a pick-me-up, and there's tons more uses for this. Um, I'll, I'll include those in the video. So let's get this stuff layered in the dehydrator and I'll show you what that looks like when I've got it all in there. Okay, so I've got everything in my trays. I got all my roots cut up. And put in the trays here. Now make sure you have enough space in between each piece that everything can dry evenly. Get another tray here. And now I'm going to plug up the dehydrator and I will show you what it looks like maybe a few hours in and then I'll show you the finished product so that's all there is to it oh and I've also got some fruit going on here that I'm gonna do at the same time I've got two trays but I'm not gonna show you how to do those on this video that will be separate videos so be sure to check back for those So yeah, that's it. Okay, real quick, I wanted to show you how I have these layered in here. The bottom tray here is the tray that was all roots. The next tray is has roots and leaves. The next one is just leaves, and then I have my fruit on top. I did this because the roots are going to take the longest to dry, so I wanted them to be the closest to the heat. And then so on. This is the next morning. These actually finished drying last night. There's the leaves. You can see they look crunchy, so. And again, they should crumble when you rub them between your hands. This is the dandelion roots. And you see how much they shrunk up. And they're very crispy. They snap when you um, try to break them. They're no longer soft and bendable. So this is what we ended up with. And yes, I reuse jars. Instead, I use these jars to put my dehydrated stuff in rather than using up all my canning jars. So next time you go to the store, just try to buy glass instead of the cans. And then you can reuse these jars for your dehydrated stuff. So that's really all there is to it. 
the dehydrating dandelions. These will be used mostly as teas. Um, if I want to do anything else, I'll normally go get fresh. Um, and again, you can eat these fresh in salads. Um, and if you're going to do fresh, then you can gather up a bunch of the flowers and make jelly and syrups and wines and infused oils. <laughs> There's a lot of different uses for dandelions besides just killing them with weed killers. Please don't do that. These are a super food. Please eat them. Don't kill them. So there are many different methods to dehydrating. This is just one of them. Um, you have anywhere from using just a screen to lay your stuff out on and letting them air dry to a big outdoor dehydrator where you have an offset fire, the heat vents up through and dehydrates everything, to your store-bought dehydrators. And that's what we're using in this video. Now, all store-bought dehydrators are different, so I can't give you a specific timeline on how long it's gonna take for your stuff to dehydrate. So that's why you just kind of got to watch everything and check it and don't just leave it because <laughs> it will burn um, and you will end up with something that's not done completely. So just check everything before you put it in your jars and that's really all there is to it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so if you like these videos, um, please like, subscribe and share. Um, be sure to check out my other videos too. I have a wide variety of videos out there, so please check those out.